Hello, and welcome to the Cub Van tutorial. This tutorial is an improvement on the self-repairing bridge. I should mention first that all the digging we do here will be too deep unless I otherwise say. So, first thing we do is dig down a 1 by 3 block trench. Repair that. So, here's our trench. Then we go back 1 and dig down 2. So you should have something that looks like a small T. Then get out your piston, place it in the direction you want your bridge to go. I would like my bridge to be here, heading out toward those steps, so the piston's facing out that way. Next thing we're going to do is we are going to place a block of dirt in front of the piston, but above it, above the, uh, the base level. And then we'll put water in one side, and we will put lava in the other side, and this will make a cobblestone generator. So there's our cobblestone generator. Then we're going to jump back on top of the piston and build a 5x3 area for our circuit. So make sure it's centered on the, uh, on the piston. And just dig out a 5x3 area here. So there's our 5x3 area. And then we want to build an alcove that is two across, uh, I'm sorry, two deep right there. So it should look like that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to come back to the cobblestone generator. So you're right on top of where the cobblestone is made below you. And I want my bridge to be five wide, so I will dig out six blocks. And it's too, again, it's too deep. Three, four, five, six. I believe that's, that's correct. Yes. Okay. So, now, my bridge will start here and go to here, so what I want to do is stop this cobblestone from going too far. So I'll just put a furnace down there. That way the cobblestone when it comes out will not go past the furnace. And I will also cut out this dirt here because I want to hide the bridge. So I think that is correct. Okay, I've dug that out. Now we want to do, we want to, to make a, uh, this room into a 4x5 room. So it's already five long, so we want one, two, three. So that would be one, two, three, four. And then the bridge will be five long, so one, two, three, four, five, right here. So we'll just go here, here, here. And then we'll just dig out the rest of the room. And again, if you want to make your bridge wider, you'll have a bigger room here but it should look generally like this. So then now what we're going to do is we're going to create we're going to uh, connect that little alcove down there with this main room. So just keep digging until you reach that alcove. And this area will be used to bring the current from the circuit to our pistons, which will push which will create our bridge. So then let's uh, we've done all our digging and it should look like look like this. So now let's create the circuit to make the bridge. So, put down a stone or other block, put some redstone on top of it, redstone on either side, then bring it out one. And then this is a little bit different from my previous tutorial. You're going to want to put two redstone repeaters down, put them on full delay, put some redstone in the corner, another redstone repeater on full delay, more redstone, Redstone repeater here, if I can get it. There we go. Redstone repeater, redstone repeater. Both on full delay. And then redstone connecting. So this 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 is your circuit here. It should look a little bit like this. We'll put a lever on the block there. And then we will So this is this this is the uh the timer here. It'll just keep, this pulse will just keep going around and around. Then we'll bring this redstone in this corner near the alcove down. So then we go one, two, three, four, five, and then on the sixth one we'll put a redstone repeater on full delay and then just a regular repeater on no delay. So with two repeaters, one on full delay, one on regular delay, more redstone all the way down. Then you want a line of redstone repeaters here. Put all these on full delay. 
It's getting a little bit dark here, so I'm going to try and finish up quickly. Put your pistons facing outward toward where you want your bridge to go. So I want mine to go over there, so I have them facing out. Then all you have to do is flick the switch. And should we start generating your bridge. There we go. And again, this is a little bit more efficient than my previous one. It uses quite a few uh, less redstone repeaters. A uh, lot more compact. And then you can also bury this, which I will show you now. So then when you're done, the whole area should look a little bit like this. Uh, everything is basically hidden, except the only thing that's not hidden is there are two little water and uh, lava holes right here where the cobblestone generator is. That's the only thing that you can't hide. Uh, so I just went ahead and covered those up by increasing uh, the height of it one. And then I put like a little little farm type thing here. You can do whatever. And just to show you it's still working, I added some steps here because there's there's one drop in level. It's still working. You can try and grief it all you want. Automatic repair. Pretty sweet. Pretty fast. Pretty awesome. Self-repairing bridge. Peace out guys. You're awesome.